Hi guys, Jen here from At Home with Jen, and with the upcoming holiday, I thought it'd be the perfect time to talk about romance, passion, and everything in between. Yep. Did you know you can use essential oils to help with this area? I'm going to go through just a few options coming up, and be sure to stick to the end. I'm going to tell you how to get a little recipe booklet. So quick disclaimer, I am not a professional doctor, so please don't ask me to diagnose, treat anything. This information is just for educational use. So a really quick uses and safeties, please, please, please be sure you are using good quality oils. I always use Young Living. Uh, you don't want to use the stuff from the, the cheap ones from the big box stores because they ha oftentimes have a lot of great fillers that are really not good for you. Also, if you are new to oils, you want to make sure you use a carrier oil with your oil with your essential oils. And all that means is using a V6 or a grapeseed oil or like a coconut oil and just diluting the oils a little bit. So just safety first. All right, low libido. It's no secret that a lot of us do suffer from low libido. It's just kind of one of those things that we are used to these days. And it sucks. A lot of times it's because of birth control, menopause, uh, family problems, whatever. I have a whole other talk about hormones and what the bad things are, why our hormones are so bad and why we have such low libido. But for this one, I'm just gonna teach you how to use the different oils to help remedy some of those things. So. Setting the mood is one thing that us ladies sometimes have to deal with. Um, we are always so focused on kids and groceries and cleaning or whatever, we have to switch our minds. So one of the things you can always do to kind of help the whole romance area is to set the mood and set your mind. So great, some great oils to use throughout the day to kind of get this uh, your 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 mind going, your mood going, is orange essential oil. So this one's great for bringing joy to the heart, peace, and happiness. I mean, think about it. Every time you just peel open an orange and you smell it, you get that nice happy feeling. So that's a great one to diffuse during the day. Sensation is another one that's great for encouraging feelings of love and affection when it's diffused. Geranium is another great one that can help ease nervous tension and lowers the defenses that may be preventing you from being open and receptive to new ideas. So another great thing is to send a flirty text. I mean, if you remember when we were teenagers, we used to pass notes in school. One of the things I used to do when, uh, well, way back when, when I was in school, we had pagers and we would send little notes uh, so you turn the pager upside down, you can read them. Um, I just had to look it up because I was just so curious. So if you want to know the number, <laughs> you need to text someone who, who I don't even know who is a pager anymore, but that's the number. And you would turn it over and it would say, I love you. Yes, you have to be a little bit creative and imaginative to read it, but it's there. So speaking of hormones, progesterone is a hormone in the body that impacts our libido. You need progesterone to have libido. So Progressive Plus Serum, also referred to as PP or P Plus, contains USP grade progesterone from wild yam extract. And it was developed by a doctor who specializes in women's health and it's formulated specifically for women and ideally for women over 30 who wanna feel more relaxed and balanced. So Prog Progressive Plus also makes a great perfume. It smells wonderful. This is one I didn't like the smell when I first started using it, but now that I've been using it, I love it. So you just apply one drop to your wrist every night. After a week or two, you can apply one drop to your wrist and one drop at, uh, in the morning and one at the ni in nighttime. Um, this is one if you are pregnant, you probably don't need, so you can go ahead and skip it and just wait till after the baby is born. All right, another important sex hormone is called edestrol, and it's the predominant estrogen throughout a woman's body in her reproductive years. It's produced in the ovaries, and edestrol is required for the reproductive and sexual function. And I probably didn't pronounce it right. I'll, I'll spell it down below so you guys can see it. <laughs> the most important takeaway is that you have to have a healthy reproductive system to make a girl happy. So two oils you can add into your daily regimen are Lady Squirrel, which I probably didn't say that one right either, but it's in the picture right there. And it's an oil blend created especially for women to enhance the feminine nature and provide a relaxing experience when diffused. Another one is Scarlescence, which supports the overall wellness with the properties of pure essential oils, including clary sage and fennel. So you apply these to your female reproductive vita 
flex points or over your lower abdomen daily. So these are another two that you don't really need to use during pregnancy because they both contain clary sage, which is what you should avoid during pregnancy. And also there's a plenty of other uh, books and stuff that uh, you can check on for pregnancy because that's like a whole different set of hormone issues. <laughs> so some other oils to kind of set you in the mood. So the first one is Endoflex. This one is great if you're tired, you can apply Endoflex daily over your adrenal glands, which is your mid back and your thyroid, which is your throat. Or you can ingest a few drops of Endoflex Vitality in your water to support your endocrine system. So the next one is Dragon Time. This one's great for those that grumpy time. <laughs> dragon Time, grumpy time. So Dragon Time was created just for the time of the month and you know, to help tame the dragon. So apply this to your wrist before and during your cycle as needed, or you can put it in the diffuser or add it into an Epsom salt bath. So this one really smells great too. I do like this one. I use this one quite often. So another one is Ylang Ylang. So this is great for when you want to feel relaxed and aroused. So you use uh, Ylang, Ylang Ylang, which is a single oil. And this is another oil that Young Living uses in its blends for joy and sensation. So it's another really, really great oil. It was out of stock for a while, but it should be in stock currently, I believe. So the other one is Clary Sage. So this one is great for uh, just having a little bit more help getting in the mood. So you use a Clary Sage. You probably want to dilute it because it is kind of uh, a little bit strong and you can use it around your lady parts. So like your inner thighs are great. Um, so again, this one you do not want to use if you are pregnant. You want to save for after the pregnancy. So, and don't worry not gonna leave out the guys there's always uh, some oils for the guys too this one's kind of hard sometimes to get husbands on board with oils but here are two ways <laughs> bring them in the bedroom or bring home that paycheck by sharing your oils so men never say uh, no to more sex or more money am I right <laughs> so let's talk about some of these all right goldenrod yep the name kind of says it all yeah every time I, I see this one now I have to give a little giggle uh, goldenrod is actually a really, really good oil for lots of things, but for this class, it is really good for a goldenrod, right? <laughs> so this one is actually out of stock right now, but it does come in, in stock freak in frequently, so you got to keep an eye out for it and catch it really quick because it goes up out of stock really, really fast. Typically, you can use it in a love potion. You can uh, add it to his inner thighs and work your way up. So pretty soon you'll have gold rod on your hands and in your hands. <laughs> All right, up next we have Idaho Blue Spruce. So this one basically spruces things up. It's an oil that can help your man stand at attention. Use it with coconut oil as a lubricant or add it to your tingle massage oil for a little extra cooling for you. So this was another great one to go into the diffuser. It's not a florally one because it's it's more of the like the trees. So it has more of a earthy smell. It's actually a really, really nice smell, but the guys tend to like it because it's not florally. So in the last one I have up here is nutmeg. So let's get the circulation going and the blood pumping. Love is a great cardio workout. Pair these two together and you'll be rocking and rolling. So delete this one uh, because it is kind of a little bit of a spicy oil. So all right guys, this was just a quick sampling. There are so many, many other things that you can use oils for. Um, even in this area. So I do recommend, go ahead, go grab this book called Lucy Libido. Uh, it's a great book, it has great stuff in it. And it just takes pretty much everything I did and put it into really, really in depth and actually adds in even more oils that you can use. So and the other bonus I have is look below for a link and they um, you can download a PDF of some recipes. There's a per, uh, some diffuser recipes in there, personal massage recipes and all other kinds of good stuff. All right, so that's it for now. Please go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell if you wanna see some more stuff from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.